Kyle and I would like to sing a song that's uh, completely pointless, but uh, I guess it's something that we picked up in our days at the EPHS Science Department. It's a uh, they produce what some use somehow in a somewhat bizarre set of circumstances. It's simply the names of the chemical elements set to a possibly recognizable tune. <laughs> There's antimony, arsenic, aluminum, selenium, and hydrogen, and oxygen, and nitrogen, and radium, and nickel, neodymium, neptunium, germanium, and iron, americium, ruthenium, uranium, europium, zirconium, lutetium, vanadium, and platinum, and oxygen, and acid, and uranium, and gold, and perfectinium, and indium, and gallium, and iodine, and thorium, and thulium, and thallium. Rubidium and boron, gadolinium, niobium, meridium, and strontium, and silicon, and silver, and sahelium, and dizithromium, lithium, beryllium, barium. I hope you're all taking notes out there because there's going to be a short quiz on this next period. <laughs> there's homium and helium and hafium and erbium and phosphorus and francium and fluorine and terbium and manganese and mercury and molybdenum and magnesium dysprosium and scandium and cerium and cesium and leather, zeodymium and platinum, plutonium, palladium, promesium, potassium, polonium and tantalum, technetium, titanium, tellurium and cadmium and calcium and chromium and curium. <laughs> There's sulfur, californium, and fermium, mercurium, and also mendelevium, and samium, nobilium, and argon, krypton, neon, radon, zinc, and zinc, and rhodium, and chlorine, carbon, cobalt, copper, tungsten, tin, and sodium. There are many ones of which the news has come to Harvard, and there may be many others, but they haven't been discovered. 